Hi, I'm Dana. Welcome to RainyDigGuitar.com. Okay, today I'm going to teach you one of my favorite songs, Rainbow Connection. I love this song ever since I heard Kermit the Frog singing it on Sesame Street. Okay, I'm just going to show you kind of the little intro, how it goes. kind of how it goes all right okay so let's go ahead and start we're gonna put our finger we're gonna put our, our left hand on a D and we're gonna kind of assign our ring finger to first string tall man second string third string is gonna to go to our pointer thumb is in charge of six five and four okay on a D our bass note is always four so we're gonna go four three twins twins is one and two played together that's what I call them four three twins three twins three try this Four, three twins, three twins, three. And this is syncopated. Ta, 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 ta. It's not ta, 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 ta. The best I can show you is ten little Indians. Watch. One little, two little, three little Indians. That's very stiff. Here it is syncopated. One little, two little, three little Indians. This song is syncopated. Okay? So instead of going... Five, six. That's not it. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's called syncopation. Okay, if you don't get that, some kids struggle with it. If you do, great. Uh, otherwise, kind of sit and practice that before you move on. Okay, so we're going to go. Our pattern is, ba oh, oh, let me start with the intro. Bass, three twins, three twins, three. And then you're going to pinch one and two on the third fret. Tall man's going to go on the third string, fourth fret. Bass, three twins, okay, this is probably, that's a, that's a cheating version of a bar G, okay, so it's just the bottom half of a bar G, but we don't care, okay, you're going to go, because four is open, four, three twins, and go back to a D, four, three twins, three twins, three, then pinch one and two, add the tall man, four, three twins, and you're just going to hold that, okay, then you're going to start singing, and it's going to change. But you're going to start with the same pick on D. Why are there... Okay, now you're going to do a B minor 7th, but it's just a half of a B minor 7th, not a full one. You're going to bar this finger. You can take him and lay him across all five strings. And keep your ring finger on the second. So you've gone from a D. He never even leaves. Okay, so D. And then I just put those guys. But he stays put. If you let go, then you've got to figure out where to go, and that's going to slow you down. So teach yourself to go from a D to this barring second, barring the second fret, D, barring second, second. Sit there and practice that for a minute. D, bar, D, bar, okay? Y, so let's try it, ready? Bass, three twins, three twins, three, bar. Now bass is now your five, fifth string. Bass, three twins, three twins, three. Then you're gonna go open and you're gonna move up. You're gonna move these guys into the middle Okay, instead of one, two, three, they're now going to move into the middle of the strings and go two, three, four. Your bass note's also going to go up from five to six. So I'm going to probably say move into the middle, and that means that your, your triplets here, they shift into the middle, and that's going to push your bass note. Well, it doesn't always push him, but sometimes he does, and this time he's going to go from five up to six, and you're going to go bass, three twins, three twins, three. And then put on an A and stay in the middle, but your bass note's going to come back down to a 5, but stay in the middle. Bass, three twins, three twins, three. Okay, let's do it again. Go back up to a D. Here we go. Four is your bass note. Bass, three twins, three twins, three. Bar, five is your bass note. Bass, three twins, three twins, three. Open, move into the middle, pointer, and your thumb, sorry, goes up to six. Bass, three twins, three twins, three. Put on an A, grab five. Bass, three twins, three twins, three. So sit and practice that for a minute until you can get it a little faster. Open, six, into the middle. A, stay in the middle. Move back. 
back up to a D. Bar. Open, move into the middle. Six is your bass notes. Go on an A, stay in the middle. Okay, so that's what you're doing. So I'm going to start singing. Ready? Here we'll go really slow. Why are there bar? To so many. Open. Songs about a rainbows and D. What's on the Sorry, I'm not a great singer. I just heard myself go flat and sharp and all over the place. Sorry. <laughs> okay, bar two. Other. Open. Go into the middle. Side. Then an A. Five is your bass note. Do it again. Rainbows. Bar two. Our vision. Open, move into the middle. I left my last note, but only A. Illusions D and rainbows have B. I'm sorry, this is a B minor seven bar two. Nothing to open. Hi, this is technically an E minor seventh if you care about the name of that chord. Okay, this is an E minor seven. But we're not hitting the fifth string, so we don't need it. Okay, so that's why open, if you don't hit the fifth string, is an E minor seventh. Okay, so we've just gone, rainbows have nothing to hide. So we just finished on that A. Now we're going to do what I've got listed here as a G minor seventh with a base of E. It sounds really complicated, by the way. Camera for already said this, but you can go to rainydayguitar.com, print off the words with the chords above. Okay, that's very helpful. I probably need to put little chord pictures on there anyway. Or you can just watch the video. It's pretty simple. Um, anyway, it looks really complicated. G minor 7th, bass E. It's so easy. It, take your tom and put them on the first string, second fret. You're done. That's it, okay? But you're going to go. Now the pick is going to change. 6 is going to be your bass note. You're going to go bass two, three, so let's, do, let's say six because we're going to alternate between six and four. Six, pause, two, three, pause, one, two, pause, three, okay, duh, bass, two, three, one, two, three, now instead of bass again you're going to alternate, instead of six you're going to alternate with four. Four, pause, two, three, pause, one, two, pause, three, six, so let me play it without saying the pauses but there's pauses, watch for those pauses. That's what gives it the syncopation, okay? So six, two, three, one, two, three, four, two, three, one, two, three, six, two, three, one, two, three, four, two, three, one, two, three, okay? If there weren't any pauses, if there weren't syncopation, it would just sound like this. Four, six, two, three, one, two, three, four, two, three, one, two, three, but there's a little pause. Okay, so cha, 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 cha. There's pauses. Six, pause, two, three, pause, one, two, pause, three, four, pause, two, three, pause, one, two, pause, three, six, pause, two, three, pause, one, two, pause, three, four, pause, two, three, pause, one, two, pause, three. If that helps you, if it doesn't skip that part, because it doesn't help me, but for some people, they really need it broken down, just depending on how your rhythm works in your brain. Okay, so let's try it again without saying the pauses, maybe a little faster. Six, two, three, one, two, three, four, two, three, one, two, three, six, two, three, one, two, three, four, two, three, one, two, three. How'd you do? Okay, then our next chord, if I'm not remembering, is just a straight bar two. I have this call, oh, I don't even have the name of it, but I can tell you right now, if this is going to be an E minor 7th, then this is going to be an F sharp minor 7th if we don't play that 5th string, which we're not. Okay, so 6, same exact pick. 6, pause, 2, 3, pause, 1, 2, pause. Okay, so I'm going to skip the pauses, ready? 6, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 6, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, Two, three, one, two, three. So here's how the singing goes to that. Okay, open. I heard, let's see, so we've been told, sorry. So we, ah, guys gotta go in here. So we've been told and some choose to believe it. I know the wrong way to see. Open, or do it again. 
someday will. That's all you get. Now switch to an A. Four is your, or five is your bass note. Same pattern. Find it. The bar of the second fret. Rainbow. Now from this, you got to put on a full B, which is a really hard chord for some of us, including me, because it just, with the B minor, you've got this guy here, you've got the tall man kind of acting as a bridge, supporting everything. You take him off and my bridge just kind of collapses, okay? So, but you got a bar. You actually, you got to put him on and do all three, so you don't even get the power of the double bar like you would like in an F sharp minor. You don't have that. You got to, this guy's got a solo, in, which is hard, and all three of these guys are over here. So basically what that is, pinky on the fourth string, second fret, ring finger on the third string, fourth fret, tall man on the fourth string, fourth fret, and your pointer's got a bar all five strings over on the second fret. So there's this fret between them and that's what makes it so difficult because it's like, ah, you're already, you're already doing the splits here. Plus you gotta have power and it's like nothing in between to hold that, that together. It's really hard, okay? So if your sound's really muffled at first, welcome to the club, okay? <laughs> it's, it takes a while to get that, but practice it, build up those muscles and the coordination, it will come. Okay, so now it's gonna be five, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, and then you only have to do that once and then you can let go and it's open. Six, two, three, one, two, three, then an A. Five, two, three, one, two, three, and then you're back to the introduction. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna break that down. I'm gonna go back and show you how that all fits together, okay? <sighs> okay, so open except for tall man is on the first string. This is that G minor seventh. I might have been saying major seventh. G minor seventh, bass E. Okay, so it's actually a major seventh technically. Ha! Huh, should be major seventh. I gotta change this. So we've been told and some choose to believe it. Bar two. I know. And now five is your bass note. Connection, open. Six is your bass note. The lovers, E minor seventh, and then an A. The dreamers, and now a D, intro. Me. Okay, now go back to the beginning. Who's, actually not the beginning, it's the second verse, but you're going back to the beginning of the guitar pattern, just not the words, okay? Who said, okay, before I do that, I'm gonna do two little things. I gotta get a capo here. I'm gonna demo a little trick that I have. I just wanna circle that so I don't forget. Okay, um, this is my favorite kind of capo. I, sn I put it on and I snap it, it's super easy, okay? But it's kinda, it takes me two hands to put it on. I cannot do this with one hand. I can't do this quickly with one hand because he's very fast. Ah, because he's got to go over all the strings. Okay, he's a, this is a two-handed capo. I need a one-handed capo for this song unless I want to transpose it up to all kinds of barring like crazy, which I hate. Okay, because I'm not very good at barring. I can do it, but it's not my favorite, and my hand cramps up. So I don't like to bar if I don't have to. So on this song, I use a capo that I can do with one hand. And I should have had it placed up here from the very beginning. If ever I play this song, if ever you play this song and you wanna do the chord transition, you wanna do the chord change after the second verse, it's just up a half a step. And so it's really easy and there's a perfect spot for it in this song. I don't have any other song that I can do this with, but this one is really fun because of this one fun thing. In the middle of the song, you take your capo and you slide it up and it changes everything, you will see. So. Put your, if you have a squeezing type of capo, if you've only got this kind, I highly recommend, if you love this song as I do, go out and buy a capo just for this song. It's worth it. If you like this song, you wanna play it for 20 years, the 20 bucks you'll spend brings you hours and hours of joy. I have it. Plus you can use it. Sometimes it's good to have a spare capo lying around. Anyway, make sure you have one that pinches. That's why I have this pinch capo, okay? So, here we go. So we're gonna leave that on there and then at the end of the second verse, we're gonna, between the second and third, we're gonna do a transition and you'll see. Okay, so here we go, we're back to the beginning. So I'm gonna kind of open it up. Um, the lovers, 
the dreamer sent me. This is our intro. Again, we're starting on the second verse. Okay, D, here we go. Who said that? Bar two, that every wish open, move into the middle, would be heard. And A, Irish bass note, answered D, when wished on the bar two, morning, open, move into the middle, star A. Bar two thought of it. A and someone D believed. Oh, A, sorry. Believed it. Now D. Look what it's bar two done. So open far. Then an A. Okay, now that funky G major seventh, okay, with the bass of an E, which is just the tall man down on the first string, second fret. Now our pick changes. Bass two, three, one, two, three. Remember, six, two, three, one, two, three, four, two, three, one, two, three, six. Remember that? Okay, here we go. What's so amazing that keeps us stargazing? And bar two, second fret, same pick. What do we think we might see? Open, six is your bass note. Someday we'll, regular A, five is your bass note. Find it, bar two, the rainbow cup. Put on a full B. Connection, the open, six is your bass note. Lovers, the A, dreamers, and D, me. Now I probably, at this point, I'd probably go back to my intro. Me the intro pick, not the full intro. That's all you get of that intro. Me. Now there's this little transition line that links us from the second verse to the third verse that incorporates this key change, which we're going to use the capo for. Here it is, okay? So me open, um, go into the middle, and six is your bass note. Same pick, bass three, twins, three, twins, three. All of us, bar two, six is your bass note. Under its B. Five is your bass note, spell, and I'd probably move out of the middle, spell. We open into the middle. I guess you could stay in the middle. Either way, I don't know. Okay, then open. We know that it's A. Pro I like out of the middle. Probably for an A, open. Man no, I like back into the middle. Okay, let me hold on, let me think. All of us under it, spell, spell. Let me try it in the middle. All of us under its spell, we know that it's probably that now. Okay, I kind of like it in the middle now that I play it like that. You choose. You can do one, two, three, or two, three, four on that. But on the word magic, you're open. Okay, six, three twins, three twins, three. Now, now while you have free hand, a free hand over here. Magic. Cool, huh? Okay, so while I was singing magic, I hover it over and then I clamp on the word jick. Jick, and I keep going up here and then I land on an A after that. So it's got two measures of, of nothing going on with here except the capo. So open, capo, A. Okay, so let me try that one more time. We we know that it's probably open magic. See that? Switch six, six, five. Okay, now we're back to the beginning of the third verse, which is just like the other two verses, but we have changed the key up. We've shifted up when it sounds so cool to do it like that. Okay, D, here we go. Have you been half asleep? We're barring two. Open, move into the middle. And have you heard A? Five space note voices. D, four. I've heard them bar two calling my open. 
open, move into the middle, ning, six is your bass note on that. Now an A, and five is your bass note. D, move out of it. Is this bar two the sweet sound? Open, move into the middle, that calls the young A, stay in the middle, but go to five. Sailors, D, I think it's bar two, one and the open in the middle, say A. Okay, then you're gonna do open, but that tall man's down on one first string, second fret. I've heard it, let's see. I've heard it too many times to ignore it. Bar two, it's something that I'm supposed to be. Open, someday we'll A, find it. Bar two, the rainbow. B, five is your bass note. Connection, open, the lovers. A, the dreamers, and now go into the intro. Me. Now there's so many choices you can choose here. You can do a D. Actually, my fingers sore today. D, okay, or you can do a D major seventh, which is just a pinch. One, two, and three. Okay, very slowly like that. Sometimes I like to go up here. Okay, just for fun. So this is a D major seven, but it's up high. I'll show you what I'm doing here. Uh, this would be one, two, three, four, five. So pointers on the fifth fret after the capo. Okay, not including, yeah, including the capo. Tall man up on the sixth fret, third string. Okay, first string, fifth fret, pointer. S mm, n what is this? Sixth fret. Okay, third string. Tall man's on the third string, sixth fret, and ring fingers on the second string, seventh fret. Okay, don't hit six on D's. No D's. Never hit six unless your thumb's hanging over and holding that, which you can't do up here. Okay. So here's how that sounds. The lovers, the dreamers, and me. So that is Rainbow Connection. I'm going to try to play it with no mistakes. That probably never happens in my life. But anyway, okay, so here we go. We're going to go back to the beginning. Move your capo back. I'm going to play it all the way through. I love this song. Get rid of the blue screen. Okay, here we go. Um, I'm going to play it all the way through. See if you can keep up. If you can't, keep practicing. And when you're ready, jump in here and play it with me at this point. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Who said that every 
you kidding me? I forgot to turn off my phone. Hang on. But I also forgot to teach you something. Oh. Okay, I'm going to turn that off. Sorry. can't believe I forgot that. But I forgot to teach you a little thing anyway, so it's good timing. Because I was thinking, I need to stop and teach them something. Then my phone up. Okay, so I'm going to go back. What I did was I go, um, I know there. What do, okay, so what do we think we might see? Then I kind of, just for variety, I kind of go one, two, three, and six. And I don't do it all the time, just when I'm in the mood. I go pluck, 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 and I move down to the first fret, and then I go open. Someday we'll find, find it. Okay, so let's try that again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come in on the what's so amazing at the second verse. Here we go. Okay, ready? Open, except the pointer finger right there on the on the first string, second fret. Pretend all that never happened. Okay, here we go. What's so amazing that keeps us stuck? Someday 